Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. Today we are going to check out how to play There's Nothing Holding Me Back by Shawn Mendes. Great song and it has different guitar parts in it so we're going to learn how to play all of them. Let's start with the intro. If you want to go straight to the verse where, where you know, he starts singing then you can skip this intro part. Alright, so let's learn the intro over here. Here we're just using three different bass notes G, B, and A. And these are the same chords that we're playing in the chorus. I mean, we are using these chords in the chorus as well because this, this riff comes in during the chorus. Let me show you how to play this riff without the bass notes first because then it's going to be easy. You've got a hammer on from 9 to 11 on the third string, and then you go back to 9 on third string right so you're gonna do this two times one and again then the next time you're gonna do hammer on from 11 to 12 one third string then go back to 11 do it two times right one two and then you go back to that first shape over here hammer on from 9 to 11 then back to 9 and you're gonna do this four times so all in all you get this two times over here two times over here four times over here so you know if you want to play this riff without the bass notes this is what you can play now the bass notes will be added before playing the riff each time so when you're playing this first shape two times, you're going to add a bass note which, which will be 10th fret on the 5th string. So it will go like this. Alright. Then the next time where you're going from here to here, you've got a bass note on 9th fret of the 4th string. Alright. Then third time you've got the bass note. When you go over, go back to the first shape four times, here you're going to play 12th fret on the 5th string four times. So it will be like this. 2, 3, and 4. And that completes your riff. All in all you get. And then you get on with the verse. So this riff that I just taught you, you can. this also comes in the chorus, you know, along where we are playing those chords. You know, that you can you can play that riff uh, in behind if you want. Now we come to the verse, we are playing this easy riff, which you can hear in the second verse. You know, in the first verse, you can just hear bass notes, but that's kind of not going to do it for you. You're going to need more rhythm if you're you know, just playing the acoustic guitar. So we're doing this. Um, this riff playing this riff over here, which you can hear in the second verse, right? So it goes like this. And you're gonna just repeat this four times. So I wanna follow where she goes. I think about her and she knows it. play this for the pre-chorus as well so this riff will be played four times so we're moving from G to D back to G then from D to A and from D to A again as you can see we're just playing two notes at a time so what we're doing is on G we're playing third fret on top string and open on second string so all right third fret on top string open on second string that's your G just play gonna play that once then you come to D and on D you know even though I'm playing I'm putting the entire D shape over here what we're really doing is just playing second fret on first string and open on fourth string all right and the reason why I'm keeping the whole shape over here is in case I pick some other strings you know I'm, I'm, I want to make sure that I'm on the right chord so that it, it doesn't mess up you know because it's the whole chord so that's G that's D, 
when you come back to J. All right, so J, D, G, D, A. On A, we're playing open on fourth string, sorry, open on fifth string, and second fret on second string. All right, so from the beginning, go to J, G, D, G, D, A, D, A, and D. That's going to be your whole chord progression, all right? So, once again, G, D, G, D, A, D, A, D. Now, repeat, do this four times, two times for the verse and two times for the, for the pre-chorus. So for the pre-chorus as well, you're playing the same thing. She pulls me in enough to keep me guessing. And again. In the end, you know, before going to the chorus on the A, you can do four down strums. This is optional, so second time, then you go to the chorus. That part. All right, so I hope everything is clear. That riff two times for the verse and twice for the pre-chorus. Now the chorus is the fun part. Uh, you know, if you want, you can. I was using my fingers in the verse and the pre-chorus, but but I had a pick in my hand, so. You know, you can have a pick over here and then just fold your fingers and then keep, you know, these two, three fingers out to pick those strings. And the pick is, you know, kept in the hand with the help of these two fingers over here, right? Like this. So whenever you want the pick, you can just remove your, you know, open your hand and get, go to the pick and do it, right? So that's a little trick uh, that you can do uh, if you want to play with, with both your fingers and pick. So... start the chorus all right now just like in the verse and pre-chorus we had that one you know segment that we were playing four times it's same in the chorus we're gonna play that riff four times so that riff will go like this that's the whole riff which ends over here all right and you're gonna play this riff four times and that is it so we're using power chords over here now, you know, a lot of times when I, when I use this chord, when I'm playing the demo in the first few seconds of the video, you know, people think that it's bar chords and they stop learning the song because they think that it's going to be difficult. It's actually not a bar chord. A bar chord would look like this. That's why we need all those notes over there. But in a power chord, we just need two or three notes, right? So you can actually just use two notes. I'll make it more easy for you. We start on G power chord. You've got third fret on top string and fifth fret on fifth string all right so that's your g power chord and if you want to add more you know more bass you can have third fret or sorry fifth fret on fourth string as well all right so that's can, can be another option next you come to d power chord let me just show you how to play the chords over here here it is fifth fret on the fifth string seventh fret on the fourth string all right and again, if you want more bass, you can have 7th fret on 3rd string as well. Alright, so. So you're just going to play once on G, once on D. Then twice on B power chord. So as you can see, we're bringing that shape on the 2nd position. You've got 2nd fret on 5th string and 4th fret on the 4th string. You're going to play that twice over there. So. so. Then you go back to your D power chord just once. Then you come to A power chord. So here we just need open on fifth string, second fret on fourth string. All right. Now if you want, you can have another second fret on third string. All right. But make sure you don't go to that second string or first string. All right. So from the beginning, once on G, once on D, twice on B, once on D again twice on A, come back to once on D, twice on A, 
welcome back to One Song D. That completes your riff. So let's start from the beginning. If you want to make this really simple, you know. So, as you can see, we're just playing, you know, um, open chords and using them as bar chords, uh, power chords, even though they're not power chords. Uh, we're using third fret on top string, second fret on fifth string, uh, you know, a typical G chord over here, just using the top frets over here, top strings over here. That. Then for D, instead of going over here, you can use second fret on third string, third fret on second string, open on fourth string. All right. And then for A, you know how to play this. And B, there is no replacement for that, so you're gonna have to have uh, second and fourth fret over here. So that can be another option. So all in all, you're gonna play this riff four times for the verse. One. Two. Now on three and four, you start playing that riff. You know, that, that, that I taught you in the very beginning. So if you have a second guitarist, you know, they can play that riff and you can play the chord. So you're going to play this three and four times. So that completes your chorus. Now after the chorus, you go to the second verse. Second verse will be same as the first one. You know the whole thing, same as the first verse. Then you go to the pre-chorus again, same as the first one. Uh, you're going to play that same riff. Then you go back to the chorus, uh, second chorus, second chorus, the same as the first chorus. Then you come to the bridge of the song. So let's see how to play the bridge now. Now, I don't need to show you how to play the bridge because the bridge is exactly the same as the verse. So if you remember this riff. That we played four times for the verse and pre-chorus combined, that's exactly what you're going to do for the bridge. You're going to play this riff four times. As if we lost our minds and took it way too far, I know we'll be alright, feel we'll be alright. As if we found my sad stumbled in the dark, I know we'll be alright, we will be alright. As if we lost our minds. This is the third time. back to the final chorus of the song, same as the one that we just played before. Remember that? Four times. And you know, that is it. Um, in the end, um, the song ends with the chorus. So that is it for There's Nothing Holding Me Back by Shawn Mendes. I hope you liked the listen. If you want to find out how to play more Shawn Mendes songs, you should definitely go to my channel because I've done lots and lots of them. So I'll see you guys over there. I'll see you guys with another lesson that I'll be bringing you on this channel. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the comments, all the likes, all the feedback. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care and goodbye.